Hello Virgo singles and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. So Virgo, this is going to be your reading from today, the 8th of June until the 15th of June. And this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every Virgo single out there. Even though you might be a Virgo single, it may not resonate with you because it is just a general reading. So I invite you to take a look at the videos for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for more clarity if you happen to need it. Okay, Virgo. This message can go vice versa. Some of you may have an elder woman in your life. Okay, whether this is someone that you get advice from, whether it's a mother figure, grandmother, aunt, someone who's older. Okay, you're getting some type of advice, possibly about love or career. Um, the situation that you're dealing with may have children or a child involved. There could have been some type of deceit in this relationship. And I feel like this is someone that you really do um, have, you really care about this person. You really kind of hold them on a pedestal. You had, you know, more or less, you hold this person in high regard. You had conflict with this person, um, Virgo singles, but there's someone at a distance that may be reaching out to speak to you. Okay, someone wants to, to shed light on a situation. Okay, and they're trying to find the right words to say to see what they can do to resolve the situation. Okay, because you're walking away. You're walking from out of one phase into the next. Okay. And you hold the key in this situation. You hold the key to some type of knowledge, maybe. The light is going to be shed on something. Okay, so definitely it looks like you're on the way to unity. Whether it this is a friendship or this is a, um, a, um, a platonic type of relationship, maybe a mother and parent type of relationship. It doesn't have to be a love relationship, Virgo. But although I am seeing love coming in for you, some of you could be dealing with an Aries. And I'm seeing Cancer energy here, Cancerian energy. Um, I'm seeing promotions coming in for some of you guys. But you could be dealing with some type of conflict at work even. And maybe, like I said, you're getting advice from someone who might be significantly older than you. Or there could be an age difference between you and this person that we're, that you're, that we're speaking of, you and this love interest. I'm seeing, fall, I'm seeing you're falling in love, Virgo, or this could be um, a reunion with someone from the past. I'm seeing things are starting to move at a very quick pace. Or you may see evidence of that very soon. I'm seeing there's a lot of significant life events going on for you. There's a need to choose carefully. Um, yeah, there's a powerful revelation that leads to change. Because I'm seeing, like I said before, the light will be shed on some type of situation where someone um, knows something and they're about to reveal it to you. Your relationship begins a new phase. You're walking away from the old into the new. Okay, Virgo, let's get some more details. Virgo singles. Sun. Moon. Okay. Body versus mind. You're making head over heart decisions. Okay, you're making, like, like I said, you sometimes you have to get out of your head and go with your intuition and go with your gut. Here's that fire sign some of you could be dealing with, specifically in Aries. Okay, looks like your integrity is going to pay off for you. Or you are looking for integrity from someone that you really do care about. Okay, someone that you were in a relationship with in the past. It could have been an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or Virgo. This could be your energy. Okay, you've been having faith in something. Maybe you've been putting your faith in someone, or you're having faith on 
reuniting with a, an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, maybe perhaps someone with water in their chart, possibly Cancer, because I have Cancerian energy here. Um, but I feel like there's, um, and this is an emotional time for you. Someone could be a Scorpio, that could also be the water sign here. Death and rebirth. Reference to Scorpio, but also it, it, it references the fact that you're leaving one phase behind and going into a new phase. Okay, there could even be a, a rebirth going on with you spiritually, masculine and feminine. You're you're learning how to balance both sides of yourself, both aspects of yourself. More fi fire sign references. I'm seeing air again. I'm seeing the mother and the father, and I'm seeing a child, a reference to a child here. So there could be some type of family dynamic here that you have with this person. You may have a child with this earth sign, or you could be the earth sign, Virgo, that, that we're talking about. But I'm seeing new love. All right, let's get some more details. Someone, Virgo, feels like you were only there for what it was that you felt like you could gain from the situation. Whatever it is that you felt like you could take away from it. One of you feels like the other one was trying to capitalize on the situation. Okay, now this person that's coming toward you, Virgo, or the person that you're going towards, you want things to be balanced. You want things to be even, possibly with you and the mother of your child or children. Okay, so things obviously fell apart between the two of you in the past, and this could have something to do with a Capricorn, or there could have been some type of deception, um, temptation. It was definitely deception. Someone wasn't being honest in the situation. So this Ten of Cups could no longer be. Now someone feels remorse and they want forgiveness for what happened in the past. Someone wants to make amends with you, Aquarius. Someone that you're at a distance from or that you had a separation with. Someone that lied to you. Fire sign energy, possibly the mother of your child. Someone who is very nurturing and cares deeply for you is coming toward you. Communication between the two of you could have been blocked or there could have been some type of blockage somehow between you and this person because someone just felt like um, they wanted to cut off all communication because they didn't feel like this was a relationship that had the potential to grow and they didn't feel like they had the potential to grow as individuals in the relationship the way that things were going but you do have someone coming toward you either with an apology or an offer Virgo and like I said this can go vice versa uh, maybe the two of you, um, you know, cut off communication because of this conflict that you had. There could even be some inner conflict going on about what to do. Someone's feeling stuck. Either someone is stuck in a situation. It could be because of finances. Or someone's stuck because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to fix the situation with you. Hmm. It says, I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. So someone is coming toward you wanting to commit to love. This love that you have for this person hasn't left in spite of the fact that you've been separated. Some type of light, just like I said at the beginning, Okay, there's going to be some type of light that is shed in the situation. Someone's about to share how they really feel. So I feel like that's what this offer is. Someone has something to communicate with you. They have something to get off their chest. They've been holding on to something for a while. I'm also seeing um, spiritual and financial abundance coming in for you. Someone definitely knows. Their, their intuition is telling them and nudging them in this direction. Okay, that's why the, the word faith came up. Someone is having faith in what it is that they're trusting as far as their intuition is concerned. But it's like, like I was telling you before, 
someone has changed. Okay, death and rebirth. The old version of themselves has passed away. And now with rebirth, a new side of themselves has been born. This is someone that was deceptive in the past, but now this person may be coming forward with integrity, wanting to do the right thing, wanting to reunite, wanting to fix things, wanting to resolve whatever conflicts the two of you had in the past, right? And I also feel like someone wants balance. Divine, okay, masculine and feminine, okay, so this could be your twin flame, your div the divine masculine to the divine feminine. The two of you balance one another as yang, your yin and yang, right? You balance each other. So, yeah, you have someone, like I said, Virgo, that wants to work it out with you, possibly an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Like I said, this could be you. Keep in mind. I'm seeing mother, father, children, someone that you possibly have a child with. So the, it might be you that's coming forward, Virgo, because I'm seeing earth sign energy here. You want to fix something with someone that you dealt with in the past. So either, Virgo, this is you feeling stuck, or it's the person that you're in, that you're thinking about. They might be feeling stuck. One quick second. They might be feeling stuck. They don't know what to do in the situation. Or you're feeling stuck possibly because you don't know how to fix it. You don't know what to do. You don't know the words to say to this person to make it right, Virgo. It's like something's nudging you to try to work it out. Because I'm seeing that there's, there's a resolution that you're working on. Okay, You're definitely strategizing on how to fix this. Okay, some of you could be traveling, moving. Someone decided to move on from the relationship in the past. Okay, move on. Someone left because things just became too difficult, too burdensome. There was a lot of conflict and drama. Someone decided to walk away from it. Maybe someone's feeling stuck, right? Maybe stuck in the past. Stuck holding a grudge, stuck holding grudges, grudges that someone hasn't let go of. Okay, so I feel like that's what's really going on in your mind, Virgo. Okay, there could have been a third party involved, possibly. Yeah. Now with work, I'm seeing new work opportunities coming in after maybe a period of delay. And these delays are causing you stress and causing you a lot of worry. Because I'm seeing some of you could be at your current job feeling overworked or over, you know stressed out, feeling like it's time to leave. So I'm seeing some of you are moving on from a work situation. You're taking a break. Okay, you're taking some time out time to think about what it is that you want. Okay, so yeah, I'm seeing an offer, maybe an apology. You're thinking about things, I'm trying to figure out what it is that you're going to say. You're definitely strategizing for a go. Okay, the passion is there. You're very passionate about what it is that you want to say. Um, with work, I feel like you're leaving away, a, leaving behind a work situation where you felt like you were stuck in. You felt like maybe there was no forward momentum with work, no upward momentum. You felt like you were just stuck at one level. Okay, so whatever this inner conflict that you're having, these inner battles that you're having, it looks like you're going to find a way to uh, work through this. You're going to resolve that inner conflict that you're having. My soul informs me every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. So yeah, that, that's what we were talking about here with this body versus mind. Okay, you're making head over heart decisions. You're following your heart. That could have been what that inner conflict was about. Someone is decide, you know, trying to figure out, you know what? That's why someone's be feeling stuck. They're not knowing whether or not they should move forward and try to fix it with you or to leave it alone, leave it as is. Okay, yeah. It says, I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. Someone's trusting their inner guidance and that's why they're coming toward you with an offer. 
Someone wants to make a commitment to you, Virgo. You had a conflict. You had arguments with this person. Could have been why you cut off communication. Could have been that the last communication you had with this person was conflict. Okay, but you've been waiting. I feel like you've been waiting to hear from this person, and here they come, Virgo. Or vice versa. Okay, someone could be very immature. One of you sees the other one as being immature, possibly a Libra. Someone with Libra in their chart. Someone standing their ground, and they want a second chance. So that's what's coming toward you, Virgo, or vice versa. Keep in mind, this can, this, these messages can go vice versa. Let's do a cross-watcher spread. For those of you who are not feel familiar with what a cross-watcher is, a cross-watcher is you. Okay, Virgo, if you are dating, say, another earth sign. So then you have earth. Okay, let me just make this a completely different element. Okay, say you're dealing with a fire sign. Let's say you're dealing with the emperor, the, um, the Aries. You would watch the cross watcher spread to see how possibly your love interest is feeling. But this is also general. So, you know, take what resonates and discard what doesn't. Mm, so you went through some struggles. They're struggling. Okay, they want their, their own internal battles in the relationship. Or while the two of you are apart. Yes, in the relationship as well. They're struggling to find the words to say. Because I feel like someone has pride issues here. They've been struggling with a lot of things. Okay, maybe financially they've been struggling. And someone is just has a lack of confidence about manifesting this relationship again. Someone's definitely not happy since the two of you have been apart, Virgo. This person hasn't been happy without you. Um, they want to resolve the situation with you, but the issue here, one of the biggest issues here is that this person hasn't healed. Someone's tired of being taken advantage of. Your your partner, your ex, are tired of being taken advantage of. They feel like they were they were taken advantage of. And and you know, they there was a separation. They didn't want the separation. They don't, you know, they don't feel like the two of you can really create that spark again. But at the same time, they want to be happy. And I feel like that happiness has to do with you. They want this Ten of Cups with you. They feel like you're the one that could give you this Ten of, give them the Ten of Cups. Okay, but they want a relationship that, that's going to endure, right where the fire keeps burning, where the two of you really work on the relationship. They want a serious and solid commitment. They want joy. They don't want a relationship full of drama and struggles. But maybe they felt like you didn't protect them or they felt like they were vulnerable. They don't want to feel vulnerable, it looks like. They feel like you're not the marrying type, Virgo. They feel like maybe you haven't really done all the self-reflection that is necessary to rebuild this commitment this connection you know some of you could be dealing with a gemini sun moon arising okay but they definitely see you as the one they see you as their perfect match and they want a commitment from you so it's like all or nothing at all like they don't want you to come to them you know playing around they they're they want you to be serious they want you to no longer make these false promises or give feed them these broken promises, they want you to be honest and real this time. Okay, 
Maybe there's a family get-together. Maybe that's where the two of you meet up again. I don't know. There could be parties. There could be celebrations. Some type of gathering. I'm saying some type of social gathering, possibly. And I'm saying, yeah, they feel like you lied to them. I'm saying communication. Communication back and forth, possibly from a fire sign and Aries Little Sag. Yeah, they don't want to fight. They're tired of the conflict. They're tired of the drama. And they're tired of people. I feel like there could be gossip. Other people meddling in your business. Yeah, someone's saying if you don't keep your commitment, that's it. Okay, because I'm getting the Queen of Swords. Queen of Bows in this deck. This one's about to cut the other one off, saying if you don't uphold your end of the bargain, I'm done. That's how they feel, Virgo. Keep in mind, even this can be vice versa. More references to water signs, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They're saying no more secrets, no more drama. Be real with me. And don't be immature. Someone is saying the other one is being immature. You know, even with communication. They don't know that you really truly made a decision or that you really want this relationship. So Virgo, your cross watcher is not really taking you seriously. There could have been some type of jealousy in the past. It looks like someone released that jealousy. But they're saying, if you're coming toward me, make a commitment, let it be real or I'm done this time. So Someone's making a head-over-heart decision. Body versus mind. Where are we? Virgo. Virgo sun. Moon. Rising. Venus. Internal guidance, more references to internal guidance. Someone's intuition is guiding them back to you. They already know. You might already know that this person is supposed to be in your life. Again, more references to balance. Someone wants to balance things out. Someone's heart is really nudging them in this direction. And yeah, there's some type of lesson that's unfolding. Some type of unfinished business you have with this person, Virgo, is leading the two of you back to one another's direction. I feel like for, for you know, some of you, this is your life partner, the person that you were truly intended to be with. Some of you just want to know that you're safe. Some of you, it, there's going to be a, nece a necessity to surrender your concerns your uh, level of vulnerability and just let things play out, you know. Life experience. Yeah, I'm saying you've been through a lot of lessons. The lessons have been hard. You've gone through a lot of struggles. Now you're about to see the light on something. Yeah, so more references to letting go of the old cycle and going into the next cycle. It says you finished one part of your life. And now a new and even better part is beginning, Virgo. It says perfect timing. Okay, so you've been waiting and now it looks like is the perfect time, Virgo, for some of you. And maybe summertime could be very significant to you. So right about now. Spirit says be yourself. This situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis of your power. Be yourself in this situation. You don't have to go based on the majority vote this is your life right you 
you dictate what happens. You call the shots. You don't have to look for everyone else's approval. You know exactly what you want and who you want to be with, Virgo. Um, the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. Some of you are traveling. That could be what this family gathering is about. Okay, maybe some of you are getting out there. There could be um, parties, uh, you know, spending time with friends. You want to express yourself. Okay, I feel like that's with work too. Some of you definitely want a vacation from work, from the, from the mundane. Okay, someone definitely needed some time away to heal from these old scars, these old wounds that the relationship... You know, it was like you couldn't put a band-aid on this situation. It had become too intense. It was like inflamed and infected. It it needed time to heal. And with that time to heal, someone has gotten a clearer vision on what it is that they have for this relationship. So Virgo single, someone's coming near you. This could mean a new home for you. Some of you could be relocating and traveling and even marriage for some of you Virgos. It says, the fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. So I'm seeing marriage, possible marriage, definitely commitment and an opportunity here for a second chance in a relationship that maybe you doubted whether or not there was an opportunity here for the two of you to reconnect. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull an advice card for my Virgos. Seeing finances are getting better for you, Virgo. Could be some type of work collaboration coming in for you, Virgo, single, sun. Here we go. Virgo, spirit says build a, uh, put a place in your home, a sacred altar, right? Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. This could involve taking a vacation, right? Cycles and rhythm. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Okay, so you're honoring your emotions. This is also an indication that you're going into a new cycle, a new phase in this relationship. It says you are a channel for divine healing power. Okay, so in other words, you have the ability and the resources to heal this relationship. It's just that you have to find the right words. All right, it all starts with communication. And that looks like that's something that starts the healing process or it has the potential to, has the potential to bring balance to a situation that was, you know, otherwise. Spirit says, follow your inner wisdom. It says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So, yeah, Virgo, the message is very clear for you, Virgo singles. So, Virgo, this concludes your weekly reading. And if anyone is interested in booking a personal reading, you can do so by going directly to my website which is angelicascensionstarot.com. Okay, and I get a lot of questions on my website asking about how to book a reading or how much is the cost for a reading. Okay, so what it is is this. Okay. So if you're on your phone, it will look different than it will on your computer screen. I can get this to work. Okay, while I'm working on this, I want to make sure that I thank everyone for their condolences because as some of you may not know, my father passed away recently and there have been floods of emails, a lot of support and encouragement from so many people and I want to take the time out to thank you once again for all of your continued emails, all of your continued support. It really truly does mean a lot. And if you are interested in making a donation because there is a GoFundMe campaign that is going on that will help offset the costs of my father's funeral expenses. If you are interested in making a donation, the campaign is still ongoing. Um, 
you can find that campaign either on my website, again, that is angelicascensionstarot.com, or you can find it um, below in the description box. There is a link there in the description box that will take you to, um, to the campaign for the GoFundMe. And I am still available on the Instant Go app. Please keep in mind, it is right now um, by text only. So if you are interested in reaching out to me via Instant Go, please know that it's, it's by text only right now. Okay, so let me show you my website. So it will look different to you, okay, on the phone. So this is what it looks like. Okay, there is the tab. Okay, so if you're interested in donating to the funeral from my father, it is there. If you're interested in booking a reading, there will be a circle with three lines that comes up on the right-hand corner. It's different, like I said, on your phone. But if you are on your computer, or otherwise, you just hit the Book Now button. Okay? And the book now button will take you to the page that shows the different types of readings that I offer and it shows you the pricing. I also do live readings. So if you are interested in having a telephone reading, just click the, um, the phone tab there, the live readings tab, and it will take you to my calendar. And, you know, if for some reason my calendar is not open, just email me and let me know that, you know, put in the subject box that you would like a telephone reading and um, I'll email you with, um, with the details. But again, go to my website first because, you know, all of that information is there with any of your questions or a book or your, you know, if you want a book or reading, it's there. Everything's available and open for you. So again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.